Hello guys, today I will show you how to format a USB drive for use with older systems such as the PlayStation 2. As you can see, this flash drive is already formatted for FAT32, but it is not showing up on the system. So now I'm going to show you how to fix this. First thing you'll need to do is hold the window key and hit R. Now we're going to type disk mgmt dot msc. Now we're going to head and let this load up and as you can see disk 1 is where our USB flash drive is under. So right now we're going to right click on the disk icon, go to properties. Next we're going to go to volumes and as you can see here this partition table is using the GPT which is not compatible with older systems. So now we need to change that to MBR. Hold the window key and hit R, and now we're gonna type disk part, no spaces. Now we need to allow it administrator privileges. Now we need to type list space disk. Make sure that you use the proper disk as you do not want to format your system's hard drive. For my case, it's disk one. So type select space disk space one. Now we're gonna type clean, now we're going to type convert space MBR. Now once that is successfully completed, we can close out of the CMD window. Go back to disk management and we're going to right click on the black partition and we're going to choose new simple volume. Now click next until you're to this window, which now we want to select FAT32. So if FAT32 is not an option, then just go ahead and select NTFS and we'll change it to FAT32 later. Now I'm also going to name this USB. This is personal preference. Now I can click finish and give it a second and then it will be formatted under NTFS or FAT32. So once it's formatted, we can go ahead and right click on the disk one icon and click properties. Now we can select volumes and as you can see, now we are under the MBR master boot record. Now if FAT32 was not an option for you, what you need to do is download a third party program called FAT32 GUI. In the description you will find a direct download link for it. Now we need to extract it and launch the 64-bit version. Go ahead and give it administrator privileges. And now let's just double check our drive letter. I'm just going to leave everything as default. After the flash drive is finished formatting, we can go ahead and delete these files and then we are ready to put anything on it we wish. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like below. Thank you for watching.